Thanks for joining us at XM.com for this Forex preview video. We'll be looking at the Bank of England policy meeting coming up on Thursday. I'm Christina Marujos. Joining me today is Christina Barthenidou, investment analyst. So, Christina, now that the Brexit fog has somewhat cleared given Boris Johnson's victory last week, what should we be expecting by the Bank of England? Will we be expecting a more hawkish tone at this policy meeting? Uh, indeed, Christina, Mr. Johnson's majority uh, last week has uh, moved Brexit to the next level. We finally have a withdrawal agreement that is expected to be signed uh, very soon uh, and that will subsequently allow the EU and the UK to start negotiations on future trade relations. Uh, however, as markets have started to realize this is not the end of the Brexit uh, story, but could rather be the start of a new drama. Uh, since uh, trade talks take some time to finalize, so prime ministers uh, pledged to uh, avoid an extension of the transition period and uh, secure a trade agreement by the end of 2020 uh, is currently looking quite ambitious uh, uh, and uh, it still keeps the case of a disorderly uh, exit out of the EU uh, open. So uh, from the one hand, the election results have removed the layer of certainty, but on the other hand, uh, we, we are still quite a uh, doubt about whether uh, we are really going to have a solution, a Brexit solution by the end of next year and whether business indicators can materially improve. Uh, we had some positive signs from the uh, labor market last week, but uh, PMI uh, readings, GDP growth and inflation are still pointing downwards. So taking all this into account, uh, we don't expect the Bank of England to cut interest rates this week, but still keep some caution until uh, the data shows some uh, sustainable improvement before taking its uh, next policy decision. But what does that mean? Do you think we'll see policymakers insisting on a rate cut this week? Uh, well, given the weakness in the data, I wouldn't be very surprised to see two votes for a rate cut uh, remaining in place, as markets expect. Uh, nevertheless, uh, the interesting thing would be if more than two policymakers join the dovish side, uh, which, however, this topic could be uh, discussed at the next policy meetings when we are going to have a bigger range of data to review, uh, providing more evidence about whether we uh, indeed need some monetary easing or not. And finally, let's have a look at the pound because it had an amazing rally on Friday after the elections. However, disappointingly, it lost those gains this week. Is there any chance of an um, upside reversal to the currency? Uh, well, on that front, we are all uh, eagerly waiting to see the Bank of England's Brexit reaction following the election results. Um, even though we don't expect a hawkish message from the Bank of England, uh, still some positive comments about the Brexit progress could provide some support to the pound. On the other hand, if policymakers uh, doubt the effects of the Boris Johnson's withdrawal agreement, then uh, we might see the pound extending its losses. I see. Christina, thank you for joining me today. And thank you for watching this Forex preview video here at XM.com.